guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's video is going to be three at home educational activities that you can do with your little ones so i have three different educational ideas i'm going to share with you guys i'm going to be doing this with my son so my son is seven years old and he is in first grade just in case you are new to my channel and you are wondering his age but he is seven in first grade so this is what i'm going to work on with him so the first project is going to be or the first activity is going to be telling time so right now they are learning how to tell time in class so i found online a printable it's like a puzzle printable that you cut it out and then they have to make the puzzle telling at time second one is going to be using legos and dinosaurs and they are going to measure out how long and how tall the dinosaurs are using Legos. This is something else that they are doing in school right now. The third and final activity is going to be a germ product. And it's like a science experiment. And I'll be using some dish soap, some water, and also some pepper. You can also do glitter. I did see a few people using glitter. So I'll ask um, my son which one he wants to do, glitter or pepper. But that's going to be the third activity. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's educational activities to do at home with kids. All right, so for the first activity is going to be measuring out the length and the height of objects. So since my son is obsessed with dinosaurs, we grabbed a few of his dinosaurs. As you guys can see, we have a ton of different sizes. So we have larger ones, we have smaller ones, some that have longer necks than other ones, some that have shorter necks. So we're gonna be using dinosaurs to measure out. And then we're going to be using his Legos to count how long and how tall they are. So I'm just gonna grab a few of the like smaller Legos not the larger ones and then he is going to measure out the width and also the height of it so I'm gonna have him do that for you guys so you guys can see exactly how to do it and then he will let you guys know how tall and um how wide each dinosaur is measuring all his dinosaurs and he wrote it all down so he wrote the name of the dinosaurs and then over here was the height and then over here was the length so he has all his dinosaurs down here with the height and the length did you like that activity with the legos and dinosaurs you give it a thumbs up All right, okay. so for the next experiments, we're gonna be doing, you're gonna need a bowl. We're just using a paper bowl, but you don't need to use a paper bowl. You can use any bowl or like a dish that you can put a lot of water in. And then I've already put water in the bowl. And then you are going to need black pepper. But again, you can use glitter if you would like. Um, online it says it works with glitter as well, but we're just gonna use some pepper. And then you're gonna need any type of um, dish soap. So we're just using this soap that I have on hand. And basically what we're gonna do is just take the pepper. We are going to pour and cover the entire top of the bowl. And once it is covered, we are going to put a few drops of this dish soap. And then you guys are going to see that when you put the dish soap, the pepper will separate. So basically, this is a science experiment showing that you need to wash your hands with soap. Once you wash your hands with soap, it takes away all of the germs. I will leave the Pinterest link down below for you guys, but this is what the experiment is all about. Basically, using soap to wash your hands. So I'm gonna have Brian actually put his finger in there and show you guys that when he puts his finger in there, he's gonna have pepper on his finger. And then once he has soap on it and dips it in, then he won't have the pepper on it, or maybe not. I don't think Ryan wants to put his finger in there, but we're just gonna throw the pepper on top. Yeah, you can do it. So pour a bunch of pepper on top. And Madison's gonna come for to watch as well. Okay, let me see. Okay. A lot of pepper means a lot. Hold on. We'll just put a tiny bit more. Okay, so no Maddie, you can't put your hand in there. So as you guys can see, there's pepper all on the top 
And now we are going, do you want to do the finger thing or do you want me just to put the soap in there? I want to put my finger in there. Okay, he doesn't want to put his finger in there, so I'm not going to make him. So I'm going to put a few drops so of the dish soap. You want to put your finger in there? So scary. All right. So now I'm going to put a few drops of the dish detergent in the center and you guys are going to see, oh, he put his finger in there. Okay, show, show the camera. So now he has pepper on his fingers. And now when he puts, I'm going to put a little bit of soap on his finger. Now dip it in the water. Don't mix it, just dip. And now all the pepper is gone from his. Add more dish soap to it. As you guys can see. It is still separating. He kind of mixed his finger in it, so it kind of messed it up. But when you add the dish soap in it, the pepper separates. As you guys can see, all the pepper is all around the corner and now it's clear in the middle. So that is the second science experiment that we did. And then you guys also saw when he put his finger in there, he had pepper on his finger. And then when I put the dish soap on his finger and dipped it in, it was gone. And there's still a little bit of pepper. It's just a tiny bit. Okay, so for the third and last um, fun activity for kids that's educational is going to be the telling time with puzzles. So if your kids really like puzzles and they are learning how to tell time, this is a great little activity. I will try to remember to leave um, the Pinterest link that I use to print out these puzzles. So if you guys also have a laminating machine, this is perfect to like laminate. I obviously can't go out and buy a laminating machine. I don't have one on hand. I can't laminate it. And I know they do sell like a Dollar Tree, um, like the cheaper laminations that you can put over paper, but I don't That's have that close. either. Um, I guess I can try to find um, tape and maybe like try to laminate that way. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna have Ryan put the puzzles together. So one side is the clock and then the other side is the time that he has to match up with the correct clock. So there's quite a few here. So I'll go ahead and film Ryan putting this puzzle together. Okay, I sorted them into, into this. All right, so I already cut up the puzzle for him. So he just finished sorting it out. So on this side is the time and then over there is the clock and he has to find the matching pieces together and put the puzzle together. So he is going to start now. All right, so Ryan just did the last puzzle. So he got them all correct. The 331, he got wrong the first time and he caught himself and he corrected himself. But this is all the puzzles laid out. So it's quite a few puzzles. It did take him a while to get through them, but he did really good. Did you like this puzzle way of telling time? Yeah. Yeah. But so, and there's one more to do and I'll let you talk. Sorry for interrupting. It's okay. Um, so yeah, this is the last little um, idea I want to show you guys. I'm going to see if they have any other times that I can print out and have him do. But I'm definitely going to save these and laminate it. Maybe I'll do like an online order of like the lamination so I can go ahead and laminate these. All right, guys. So that is going to end my three fun educational activities for kids at home. I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home just like me. We will be stuck home for the next few weeks. We will still be in quarantine. So although the kids do have online schoolwork they have to do that their teachers send in every single day, I do like to do stuff like this throughout the day just so we aren't just laying around watching TV on our tablets, that we are staying active and we're doing stuff that's not only fun for the kids, but that they are learning at the same time. I found all these ideas on Pinterest, so definitely check out Pinterest. They have a lot of great ideas for kids at home for different ages. If you guys would like me to film a second video just like this, but geared towards babies. As most of you guys know, my daughter is autistic and although she will be turning six in about two weeks, she has a mentality of about a 15 to 18 month old so all of her activities and school stuff 
is going to be geared towards that age group. So if you guys would like me to film one for you guys in that age bracket, let me know in the comments and then I will find some more stuff online and go ahead and film that and do those activities with her and show you guys how she does on them and how fun they can be. So just let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Again, I'm gonna try to remember to link the clock puzzle down below so you guys can go ahead and print it out as well if you are interested in this. So I hope you guys enjoyed these ideas. If you guys have any fun activity ideas of your own that you've done with your kids, leave them in the comments down below for myself and I'm sure everyone else who is watching this, they would love to get more ideas. So leave it in the comments so we can go ahead and read it and have some more ideas to self-entertain ourselves with our kids at home. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, please consider subscribing and turning on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.